being a man can't just be about success, sex, money, and clothing. It can't be about walking around with a smile-proof face and a bulletproof heart made of glass. It can't be about never showing your inner passions of maybe writing poetry to the English class. And it's ironic that's an English class um, for me because um, <clears throat> when I was four or five, I was diagnosed with a learning disability. And the title of it would be Auditory processing learning deficit with a very strong sense of I'm in the process of writing a poem and my first line is I felt like words molested my mind. I bet you have no idea the spells that you can cast over us men. You have this power simply in your walk and it makes a communication major like me stammer like that guy off um, I was thinking about how to come up with an analogy of what does it mean to like have have a mind that like struggles to learn, have a mind that struggles to read, write, spell, memorize things. And the best analogy I can come up with is if you've ever studied for third, three, three hours, maybe four hours on one topic or like one exam, and at the end of that you're just exhausted, right? Like the brain, the brain's fried, like there's like all this, I'm gonna do something else. And that exhaustion that would happen with me for about like maybe 10 or 15 minutes into just reading a simple short story with my mom or trying to memorize uh, a phone number. Like these are things at a young age like I, I couldn't comprehend. It was such it was such a struggle for me. So what does it mean to struggle with me to tell you right now? I love reading and I love poetry. That seems foreign. That seems not real. That seems a little distant <coughs> or for you guys. And um, I guess I, I was thinking about what would what it mean to encourage or um, spark interest that learning and, and, and reading and writing are legitimate. There's, there's an immense amount of beauty in the fact that you can learn something with your brain. Your fingers long to be colored by other fingers. Your fingers long to play tic-tac-toe on the chest of a man who will not My reading comprehension was awful. My, re my writing was terrible. Um, at the age, at the age, I was in ninth grade, I had a reading level, a spelling level, a reading comprehension level, and a writing level of a second grader. I was in ninth grade. With that, so you can kind of have an idea that you're listening to someone who hated language, someone who hated having to put his ideas on a paper having to communicate frustration of why, why I had this struggle and why I needed to somehow be in the school system and work through that. Love, at its truest state, is outside cultural. I'm suggesting that culture is going to continue to give you definitions that are very inaccurate to what the root of some of these things are. You know, to, to be able to sit there and offer hope to somebody, to offer life back into somebody who's dying in front of you. And words, just like I said before, words, if you fail them, they'll fail you. But what I'm suggesting is that words, they can breathe life. Sitting on your iPhone demanding more from others while you're at it, just, just Google the definition of entitlement. Yeah, just go ahead and Google it. The definition of entitlement. My words did that? And she, and then she got up and she, she was just crying. She gave me a big hug. She's like, Nate, you don't know what you just did. And I, I'm sitting there, and I'm just hugging her, I'm just hugging her, I'm just like, this is such a cute lady, like, what do you, what do you mean? And she pulls back off and just tears in her eyes, she says, your words just changed my life. Mm -hmm. Wow, I see how we are so quick to place haters as a stronger motivator than lovers. I see it how we place more value on what celebrities eat and what they do to their bodies more than exercising the amazing gift of reading books. And I'm not talking about an app, I'm talking about a library being a place to expand the mind like a rubber band ready to blow up curiosity. I, just, I just constantly come back to what is, what is hustle, what does grind mean, like what does that mean if like you actually pursue something that you want, pursue something that you think you're gifted or that you've been blessed to do. I think every day, every day, I'm convinced that a person can experience beauty in some form. Like there's something in every day that should generally shock you with beauty. Are any of your like poems or anything like published on the web or um thank you for asking that that's that's really encouraging. Uh, because I'm tired of believing that this world has too much power. I'm tired of not speaking up. Words can rescue us from the excuse of life goes on. It seems redundant like a metronome. 
shut up and say something like this song. I'm tired of doubting God. That was great, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have a website or a blog where you post these things? <laughs> I gotta do it now. That learning and, and education, not education itself, but I think just learning is, is so priceless and it's it's honestly fascinating what your brain and my brain can do.